Welcome to SideQuest, the every other week game, sometimes not game, Authors and Dragons uh, episode. My name is Rick Qualtieri. I'm here with Steve Weatherall, Drew Hayes, and Robert Bevan. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi, everybody. Jesus, who was that? Your, 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 your adult voice, not your pedophile voice, Drew. <laughs> It's called a Muppet voice. Thank you. Jesus Muppets, Christ. pedophiles. Yeah. <laughs> Same difference. I have a feeling Rick watched very different episodes of Sesame Street than I did. <laughs> All I know is you sound like you're handing out free candy right now. <laughs> it's it's both sad and terrifying that Rick hears a happy puppet voice and immediately goes, Oh, I know not to trust that motherfucker. <laughs> We were watching the same episodes. We just had yeah. different reactions. Or, or, I know, or I know to ask for my free candy up front. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, Mom, I, was, I was just having a conversation with that weird green monster that lives in the bin. You come inside. You come inside right now. You don't talk to that weird green monster. <laughs> is it? Is it because he's a monster? No, it's because he's poor. <laughs> he, he lives in a bin. <laughs> But, but he said his, his name was, was 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 Cookie Monster. No, no, you misunderstood. It's Nookie Monster. And <laughs> anyway. Well, Rick's horrifying childhood aside, we are here to play a game. It's called Guess Which Muppet Was a Pedophile. <laughs> Sadly, Super we already brutal. know the answer. It was Elmo. Let's just move on. Show me on the doll where Kermit touched you. Hey, hey, Jim Henson's reputation is still intact, you motherfucker. <laughs> well, speaking of horrifying mysteries. Oh, God, let's get off of this. Okay, so we are on, we are playing a game tonight called Masquerade Murders. Uh, and the format will be very, very familiar to any of you who've been to a dinner party that ran out of steam midway through. Uh... <laughs> It's based on the old game Masquerade, where uh, some of you might have played it as werewolf or what have you. At least one person is the bad person, in this case, assassin. Uh, and the other people are various roles that give them abilities and interactions and whatnot. And, of course, seeing as this is a side quest that's going out to all you folks... Uh, we would never have imagined doing this without copious, copious research. Uh, so we have played it once and have a loose understanding of the rules and roles, and uh, the rest will just sort of come as it comes. Is it too late to change the name of this game to Muppet Molester? <laughs> oh, God. Again, probably yes, because I'm, I'm fairly certain Muppet is, like, trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> Tickle me! You'd have to go with, like, generic. It'd have to be, like, puppet pedophile. <laughs> you, can't, you can't afford the Muppet name. Puppet pedophile, come as it comes. <laughs> okay, which of you has your hand up my ass? I, I would have gone with get felt, but, you know. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Um... So have you guys ever played a version of this game? Is this your was this your first time kind of experiencing the format? Yeah, yes. and I don't really feel like I experienced it. So. Yeah. Usually when a yeah. dinner party starts to get slow, I just find a way to leave. <laughs> I don't get invited to parties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to I'm going to side with Bevan and Rick on that one. I don't get invited to parties, and when I find myself at one, I usually just try and slink out. <laughs> Which might explain why people aren't inviting you to parties. <laughs> yeah. yeah Steve, Steve came to my party, by which means he showed up, said hello, drank a beer, and walked right back out. Drank and climbed out the window. I'm well, that, a social or robbers. Well, that, that's because you said, hey, Steve, let's play a game of Masquerade, and Steve was like, fuck you, wanker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kept stealing. He stole a keg and ran off screaming Irish goodbye. And I don't think that's what that is. Well, let's All not get right. bogged down in, uh, in definitions. We're here to find an assassin in Venice. Or possibly a furry pedophile. <laughs> All right, we are beginning the game. dun na now. dun na now. That's That's something. That's a sports something. God, the comments are going to light up over that one. <laughs> I thought it was very dramatic, Drew. I thought it was the opening to, like, Back in Black. No, it, it's... Oh, God. I, I I don't know. It's one of the, like, sports shows that I will just see on in passing, and I that's such an earworm of a stinger 
but uh yeah i don't know anything beyond I that it's just a randomly generated uh dramatic noise you were making oh no 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 i, I definitely ripped that off all right so uh we are having the rules explained to us it is Deeply boring and basically consists of what I said earlier. And we are going to skip that shit because we don't care. Who needs rules <laughs> when we can watch what's going on the screen? We got this guy with his mouth just open saying nothing because my screen is muted. Good old fashioned stop motion animation. <laughs> so basically this, uh, this uh, unusual fella has assigned us all identities. And uh, we're all now pressing ready. We should all have our individual identities. And they also add a few randos, because I guess we don't have a dense enough population of players to make it weird, would be my guess. Well, the two guys groping the woman in the background makes it weird. Yeah, this, it's did anybody guys play Adventure Quest, uh, like when you were bored at work? That sounds familiar. It was a browser, it was sort of like the browser version of WoW, by which I mean it was like this kind of early 2000s, slow-moving... Um, animation style and then you would i don't know kill things or you would fight little monsters get power-ups it was so shitty but you could play it in a browser and click off of it when your boss came so it was pretty good for killing a weekday uh no i don't think i ever played that so this fellow is now telling us that certain people can take certain actions the assassin can choose a random member of the crowd and see what identity they are so whoever's been assigned as the diviner, <laughs> diviner, diviner, diviner. yeah. Uh, who, whoever's been assigned as a member of the divinals, diviner, <laughs> diviner. Whoever is Dave. Now, now the counterfeiter. Rather than actually doing your job and actually making fo- fake bills, you're supposed to do something on your screen. Well, what the fuck is a counterfeiter doing in an assassination? <laughs> well, it's an assassin doing it. Clearly, these people were not invited. Or unless, you know, it might just be a wild pie. Is this like an Ocean's Eleven-style scheme and something went wrong at the 11th hour and they had to sub in the counterfeiter for, like, the gymnast? <laughs> Maybe the Duke was just kind of really bored of his life. Ah, oh, fuck it. Invite the counterfeiter and the assassin. They always liven things up. It was Colonel Ketchup in the bedroom with the candle holder. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's the first part of the action done. Yes, all the little character actions have taken place uh, while we vamped over it because that's how audio content works. And now uh, we proceed to bicker with and accuse one another. So basically A and D as normal. Yes. <laughs> so just to, uh, just to um, re-explain this for the benefit of the listeners, obviously, and not me, because obviously I know what's going on. We've all been assigned different roles and... Uh, now we've got to figure out who is the assassin. You know, am I on the right page here? Yeah. And I mean, I, I'll, I'll just say, you know, those smarmy British accents. Steve, obviously you're a killer. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. This is, this is nearly racist. <laughs> Let me get this straight. So there's, there's, uh, there are us and other crowd members. None of the crowd members can be assassins. Look, it's just like a sitcom where you see all the people in the background. They don't count. They're not. Well, no, people. no, they can be assassins because because uh, you can vote for an assassin in the crowd, and whatever one of you is the counterfeiter could have said wow. could have said, "Oh, Drew's the assassin." No, no, fuck that. Drew, Drew, Drew couldn't uh, Drew couldn't assassinate uh, that beer ca- that beer in his hand. So the crowd is an assassin. <laughs> You say Drew's too, too incompetent to assassinate someone. <laughs> Drew, that sounds like you're being called out. Uh, so there are always two assassins. Oh, I see. Uh, that I was reading the rules. Uh, so that so there's going to be at least two. Uh, and Rick uh, is pointing some fingers, but not really. I feel like Steve was deflecting a little bit there. So, uh, Steve, why are you so defensive, bro? Oh, d- just because I happen to come from a country that killed a lot of people you know like historically oh. that doesn't mean i am an assassin oh, cool. like, so if Steve, I am, what are you if i am gonna be an assassin i'd like to think it's not because of any kind of you know racial or cultural characteristic but because i decided to be an assassin at least allow me the dignity of that <laughs> well, well that, that 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 clears it up so you're like yeah. i might not be an assassin but i might have chosen to be an assassin well okay <laughs> 
Well, I'm just I'm a, I'm... Steve, Steve, well, let's hear what you are if you aren't the assassin. I am a British person. That doesn't mean I'm a mass murderer. Man, he's kind not of even, he can't even dig deep enough for a lie to cover up that he's the assassin. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not the counterfeiter, though. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure what my role was. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Steve, what is, what is your profession? British person. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's worked out right for me I, I, so I'm far. Liking, I'm liking Drew for this one. He uh, was conveniently absent for a bit and then came back with, uh, oh, yeah, uh, my, mic, my, my mic was muted. Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't no. really was killing a fictional Duke. Bullshit. Well, anyone could say that. I could say I was the Harlequin. Well, you didn't. You said uh, I was a British person. All right, Steve. <laughs> as the Harlequin, who did you switch? I don't know because yeah. I don't know what my role. I know was. who got switched because I was the Harlequin. Yeah, you know, I don't want I don't want to see Drew in any Harley Quinn uh, outfits. <laughs> Your loss. <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> what button do we push for that? Devin's being pretty quiet in all this. I I was talking. I was accusing you. And nothing else. <laughs> what What was your role in all this, Bevan? I was the the uh, the counterfeiter. Bollocks! You didn't know what your role was either. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of more believe Steve's explanation than yours. Oh shit! I only get to vote once. Yeah, you only get to vote once. Oh, oh shit! Oops. I have to vote. Yeah, you gotta you gotta <sighs> pick your vote carefully, like me, who is voting for Steve. Unbelievable. Who is? I was gonna vote for Steve Drew and Steve, did but it. I hit Drew first. Oh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna mash a button. There we go. And you're like, Drew, I think that you killed that Duke. Or attempted to kill that Duke. Please look at the main screen. Okay. For the terrible Flash animation. <laughs> it's so bad. I of hope you guys go check this out on right. YouTube, because it is. The, oh, assassins the Assassins have won. The Assassins have won. Hooray, the Assassins have won. I'm guessing that was... Oh, it was Rick and Bevan. They got us both. Wait, I was in. I didn't know I was in. <laughs> it was me the entire time. <laughs> no, whoa, slow down, slow down. I was an alchemist, and I got switched at the last minute for crowd one. I genuinely didn't know at what no I was. No time did it say I was an assassin. <laughs> I was paying attention. <laughs> like fuck you. Were. <laughs> you know something? I, I Drew, 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 Drew obviously slipped you some reds in your drink, and you just went batch it and just started killing motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I originally was the assassin. But I my know. I switched identity you was, yes, was the I, I, was the, I was the diviner, but apparently I wasn't smart enough to divine that I was also the murderer. So wait. So did, was crowd one then uh, uh, originally the assassin? A assassin. Right. But I swear it never told me that I had turned into an assassin. So, Steve, did it tell you when I switched you that you were an assassin? Did you know during the debate phase? No, I didn't know I was. I had been switched. I still thought I was an assassin. Uh, but if you switched me, why did you accuse me? Because I didn't know what your role was. I just I knew I switched you and Rick ah, for funsies. I see. I just uh, <laughs> so you don't get see what character. That's why <laughs> you're just an agent of chaos. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe you don't necessarily know if you've been switched, I guess. Yeah. No, just to keep, yeah, you, keep you guessing. Yeah, because as the diviner, I was able to see that Steve was the assassin, but then you switched it. So, uh, so did you know Steve, Steve was the assassin or did you, did you just randomly swap our identities? No, I didn't know jack shit about who was who. <laughs> okay. So that's how this works is we're all doing shit. One of us knows who the assassin is. One of us is switching things. One of us is doing other bullshit. And we all have a piece of the puzzle. So we're supposed to, like, you know, argue based on the piece we know. That's what we were doing. Well, yes. I, I didn't know shit. I was the alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's do this again. As an assassin, I was able to pick someone out of the crowd and determine what their job was so all i really knew oh, is that there was right. a counterfeiter out there were any of you the counterfeiter uh no well the only the only thing i noticed is uh it picked steve as the assassin twice in a row so if we're i actually got harlequin twice in a row uh yeah. from our practice game as well yeah and i got alchemist or i'm all right i got diviner twice in a row so if we get the same things again then this game is fucked <laughs>
Yeah, Just, if, you, if everybody come gets to think this. of it, I think I got Alchemist twice in a row. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll start a game again and let's see what happens. Okay. Just assume the game was racist. <laughs> Okay, so if we fail to identify the assassin, then the assassin yes. wins. So okay. technically, for no fault of my own, I won that round. I'm the winner. Uh, no, actually, Rick was the winner because he yes. was the assassin. Yes, well, I was the original. Well, I was assassin. an assassin too. <laughs> yeah, you if, guys won. You guys won that round. Yay. Surely, if I went into that party planning to kill the Duke, and then for some reason I changed my mind and someone else did it, I'm still kind of a winner in that scenario. <laughs> that is kind of insane that, like, the Harlequin essentially took a person with a crystal ball and a person with a dagger and did, like, a magic trick where you pull the uh, tablecloth out from under a table full of dishes <laughs> on their outfits, and they just went with it. It's like a... Uh yeah, I'm a I'm a counterfeiter. I make a pretty good living out of that. I've been invited to this party and all of a sudden I got a real hankering for some Duke murdering. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, with the amount of assassins just hanging around, maybe like Duke murdering is just a whimsy thing in this kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon this Duke wants to die. But you know, I'm just I'm a little bit concerned and whether our listeners are following along uh with this uh as well as I am. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I think they're following well along am. about as well as yeah. we are. <laughs> okay, listeners, let us know in the comments <laughs> if you're as confused as I am at this point. <laughs> Maybe you're the assassin, listener. So if you had to be an old-timey assassin, what would your your method be? See yourself uh, as a poisoner, like a dagger-in-the-hallway kind of guy? You're still you. You're just you thrown back. Flute. Yeah, I, I don't want to be there for that shit. I'm a poisoner. <laughs> I think I'll just use my modern resistance to diseases to just go in and wipe out uh, wipe out everyone. Just sneeze. Just sneeze and exit. <laughs> Man, I, I feel like I'd, I'd prefer to be a poisoner, but the problem with being gigantic is, like, there's no... No one forgets if I walk through a hallway. <laughs> you see anybody <laughs> suspicious aside from the six-foot-four guy carrying a green vial? Yeah, I don't know. Especially if you're in oldie times where everyone's about a foot smaller. There's a you, Drew, which, I don't know. That's that's That sounds likely because, you know, I, now I'm stuck in this giant-sized poisoner, so, like, you know. <laughs> oh, you didn't even nah. tell us what your assassination method would be. Uh, I don't. I don't know. At the, at this uh, at at this particular, uh, you know, I don't know. Just just let's lose some plague rats in there. <laughs> just let them take their chances. <laughs> if there's already a plague going on, does it? That's kind of a weak assassination. I have a one in three chance of getting my target. Mask it a red yep. death go. We, we all did. We all just like instant vote on this one. We didn't even debate before the listener. <laughs> we, we can still debate. I guess it doesn't matter though. No, it's just you, man. This can be a tie or so. There's two on me, one on Rick, and uh, I, I guess whoever the the final remaining vote is. I've got um, a vote. I still want to hear Bevan's old timey assassination technique. I just told you I was going to be a poisoner. I, I don't. I don't want to be around when it happens. I'm just oh, to, gonna uh, like. Well, what are you going to poison? Go into detail. Rick's unleashing plague rats. I, I'm going to sneeze and leave. Drew's just going to, I guess, just step out of room. I, I guess I'll, I'll hope they're allergic to peanuts or something. And uh, <laughs> give peanut some allergies <laughs> are a modern fatality. You're not going to kill old people, <laughs> olden Is times people with peanuts. I don't know. I just assumed that people, you know, could deal with well, peanuts back then. They were tough. Behold, me, ancient know. people, I give you peanuts and gluten. <laughs> well, peanuts specifically, yes, it is considered a more modern illness because the theory is there was way less exposure to it in our diets before, uh, you know, modernization and it became very popular. Well, there you uh, go. So that Your I mean, level of exposure. But it is a theory, of course. So, like, no one knows for sure. That nobody, that nobody will know. I was just like, oh, I'm going to try this new snack food I have given you. And uh, So you're either an assassin or a chef, depending yeah. on how things go. The thing just yeah, goes, yeah. oh, that was very nice. And then you're a failed assassin. Yeah, that, that, that's just like, that's like wandering into a crowd and just hoping somebody randomly dies of lactose intolerance. <laughs> You yeah. are the one releasing plague rats while there's a plague going on. Like that, exactly. You're making no difference whatsoever. Historically, <laughs> that was proven to be very successful. <laughs> yeah. I reckon, like, if you went back in time, 
uh, to really fuck things up, meth. <laughs> could you produce you know what i don't want to know if you could produce meth in ancient times i'm i'm gonna die without that knowledge sure. happily why, why, why would you not be able to i don't did, know where to get sudafed in ye <laughs> old england there must have been something around there must have been some kind of meth equivalent People throughout the ages are have always been about one thing, figuring out something to get high as fuck. So I guarantee there's something we could bring back there. You know, I don't know, maybe 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 we get them all addicted to like you know, antifreeze. That's that's supposed to taste good. I feel like you can probably you can probably make cocaine, right? Because that's just like a cocoa leaf refined to a certain level. That that feels like one you could like bring back and agriculturally do no no bit? not in europe i mean i guess if you had like kind of time and you could travel to any place you could do that yeah but like co- cocaine like you know meth, meth has that like you know what would be best of all bath salts yeah it's got to be something really hardcore because yeah. people were tough yeah. back then a little bit of cocaine well, well, it would, no bath salts would be great because then like some people some people go nuts chew their neighbors faces off then to be accused of witchcraft there'd be burnings yeah. there'd be panic it would be awesome Excellent. yeah that's better cocaine would just start hollywood like a hundred years too early <laughs> i've got it i've got it i'm gonna take back ricin and i'm gonna put it in in the chef's like i don't know one of the spices he doesn't use very often and then uh yeah, I'll be long gone by the time he makes food for the king using this spice. And then, yeah, there you go. So Brilliant. you want to kill him with spicing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve, you should probably vote. Clock is yeah, I'm going to vote. Well, Bevan, you've got my vote. <laughs> Here, here's, here's the drug that will kill you. Rice. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to bring back rice, an asshole. This is a big sack of fucking rice. You're not the fucking Uncle Ben's. <laughs> <laughs> what is this rice of Roni? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the oh, citizens yeah. of Venice have won. Fuck you, Drew. Da-na-na. Da-na-na. Yeah, we called out the assassin. Who was it? Just me. And Steve! Uh, oh, Steve uh, not wait. Assassin. You you have to get you only have to get one? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had to get both. I guess that would be impossible. Well, the the, the competent assassin got away. <laughs> yeah. So, Steve, did you know you were an assassin? <laughs> Fuck, did I know I was the assassin? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you know the fun, you know the funny thing is, I swapped Steve and Drew, so they were both the assassin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was the thing. Like, I I knew I only know what I started as. <laughs> uh, wait, Steve, did you know you were the assassin? Because I knew you were the assassin. <laughs> I didn't know I was the assassin. No, I missed you gotta it. watch your phone, man. You really gotta watch your phone. <laughs> It was saying, like, ready, and then it just started. It didn't, uh, maybe it just assumed that, again, I believe this is probably just good, racism. Uh, good news, I was not the alchemist this time, so it does apparently switch us up. Yes. Oh, yeah, I was the assassin, so we, we're, we're good to go on that front. <laughs> um, yeah. I still, I, I was trying to read what the alchemist actually does that time around, but um, I, uh, I missed it. I know. I now know. I was the d- diviner that time. If we're if we're telling, what does the diviner do? The diviner can see. It can choose one, one player and uh, see what their job is, and that's how mm-hmm. I knew Drew was at least originally an assassin. But then somebody swapped him and made him into a a different assassin. assassin. Yeah. Assassin. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if if one assassin gets called out, we assume that the other assassin is. Is, is rumbled and uh, legs it, I guess. So the assassins lose if even one assassin gets. So I out. figure, as if you're the diviner, then you got a, a 50-50 shot at you know calling out the right, or maybe a little bit more than that, at calling well, out the right assassin. Remember, the assassin can be in the crowd. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. In it fact, there is a so vote far. for both assassin. Like, there's a oh, vote right, that yeah. both assassins are in the crowd option. We ready to start again? Heck yeah! Bring it on! Yeah, let's do it. Murder! Welcome to the masquerade. The groping will start momentarily. Okay, this time I know who I am. Oh God, it's a whole new ball game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking big league now. <laughs> Steve's version of I'm not left-handed. <laughs> so this woman being molested on the screen, it's, it's got nothing to do with a plot. <laughs> no. No, this this is just something for the programmer to jack it to while he's like putting <laughs> the text. 
<laughs> well, so like, who is the assassin? And she's just over there going, like, there are other concerns. You know? <laughs> this is, I mean, what else? I mean, this that was totally intentional. This is, there's nothing else these people could be doing except for rubbing her tits. <laughs> but they, I, they think they're just gesturing dramatically. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it looks a lot like they're giving me some like some hard eye there. One of them is her own hand, at least. Yeah, she's. I, I guess maybe she is enjoying it. I don't know. They're making some uncomfortable I mean, if eye you're contact. Right, she's at least participating. <laughs> yeah, the, the look on her face suggests maybe she's gotten some of those bath salts that uh, oh, that we brought back. <laughs> I got it. They all dropped E. They're just rubbing. Her <laughs> Just chewing on their teeth and having a good time. No, nah, if we're talking internet times, though, they're they're actually arguing over what color her dress is. <laughs> God. Oh God, we live in the worst fucking time. Well, thank, thanks, Rick. I'm I'm starting drinking for the day now because of that. <laughs> Just so the listeners know, we're all taking our secret actions here. And looking at this uh, broad on the screen being felt up by two horn dogs in masks. Yeah. I'm jacking it to that. We're not on video, right? Is that your secret action? Is it your yeah. last <laughs> the Bevan? Who programmed this? <laughs> they sent me to assassinate the Duke, but I decided to jack it instead. Okay. So, was anyone the diviner this time? Poison him with my semen. <laughs> Taking that as a no. <laughs> well, what, are we supposed to admit? What authority do you have here? No, yeah. but you and I mean, It's a collaborative game. Like, the goal is for us to defeat the assassins. Unless you oh, are the assassins. Unless I am the assassin. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm the alchemist, and I got swapped with someone in the crowd. So I don't know what I am. Do you know? Truly. Did you figure out what the alchemist does? Yes, he gets swapped with someone in the crowd randomly. <laughs> that, oh. That's the that, whole point of him, is he's he's an X Factor. Even he doesn't know what he is at the end. Oh, well, well, well. So that's why I'm taking up the arbitration role. Because I, I truly, I have no, no idea. But if anyone was the diviner and they looked at me, then we know one person in the crowd. Yeah, you know, you know, there, there's a there's a phrase there called that's what's what's that from Shakespeare? The lady doth protest too much. <laughs> The assassin yeah, doth is, protest does too not much. apply. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will defend myself as well. Um, I got the shittiest thing in, uh, in the game this time. I was a random citizen of Venice, and it said, "Enjoy the ball." I didn't get to do shit. Oh man! Uh, but you, but you weren't near the end because I was the I was the counter counterfeiter. What oh. did the counterfeiter do? No, no. Um, or was it the Harlequin? You don't switches. know what the fuck you were. You, oh man, I'm I, for Rick. I switched identities with Rick's somebody. Dead. That's something Rick's dead. Rick's the uh, assassin. Who did you switch then, Harlequin? Ah, uh, well, I switched myself, the Harlequin, with the the the, the Venetian citizen, Bevan. Uh, okay, wait, so wait a minute. Does the counterfeit can then. switch themselves? What does the Harlequin do? Because I was the Harlequin and I switched. I believe oh. I switched Bevan and Rick. Well, then I apparently switched it back because because uh, I was I switched myself with somebody. Well, either way, if we're all telling the truth, then Drew and I are definitely not the assassins. And if you guys are telling the truth, whoa, whoa, whoa. then all you did was just wear each other's clothes. For yeah. the... Which which is pretty much what we close to what we do at cons anyway. <laughs> he didn't know what the hell he was, or he he started and then said, "Oh, oh, wait, no, I was uh, the other thing." I'm going to vote for Rick the crowd. The assassin. You know what? I'm going to vote for the crowd, too, because that would actually all work out. I'm telling you guys, so it's Rick. Vote for both assassins in the crowd. <laughs> That's what I've done. I trust you guys. All right. right she'll see. see. Here goes. The assassin Dun -dun. raises his blade. It's the murder. Drum roll. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the assassins have won. The Duke is dead. The careless Duke with his terrible invite policy is dead. <laughs> oh shit! I was an assassin. <laughs> I knew it. Wait, I, I, vote, I, wait, I voted. I voted that you were the assassin. How come I didn't win? Oh wait, Rick, team, Rick, team, your team has lost. I purposely said Drew was the assassin. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I truly didn't know I was the assassin. I really was the alchemist. <laughs> 
That's yeah, why drink, he's in the crowd. Drinking your own potions. Don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Man, we made like we did make all the right calls in terms of teamwork and whatnot. We just uh, we tried to got, let that one out. Got bad fortune. Yeah. I still think Rick was the assassin. I accused you. I was right. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were right. I, but no, that no, was the just game, by the accident. Game didn't believe me. Jesus Christ. I'm, 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 I'm like. I'm like the witness to the crime and the cops are just like, yeah, yeah, you know, go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. He hasn't stabbed the Duke yet. He might not. Oh, no, he stabbed the Duke. Okay. Yeah, you're right. He was the assassin. Too late. The assassins have won. Let's just assume that the security at this pool is incredibly incompetent. Very laissez-faire yeah. approach to assassins. Yeah. Really tearing through dukes at this rate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, just pick, they just pick assholes for dukes, so they don't care. <laughs> Guys got like eight brothers. Ain't got to do that shit to do. just in a handicap spot? Yeah, make him a duke. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just fucking their sisters, making like, you know, also making like, you know, New sh- more more and more <laughs> shitty dukes. It doesn't matter. Oh no! You killed Duke Eight Arms. As a Venetian <laughs> citizen, I'm I'm just wondering where where I am in the line of succession. All right, let's see our roles. Okay, I've seen my role. I've seen my seen role. my role. Me too. And I'm gonna remember it this time, maybe. Yeah, listeners, no, you're not supposed to see our roles. So if you if you're wondering, like, how come I can't see their roles? It's like, don't. You're not supposed to. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah! If you're just ruining the game, listeners. Yeah, come on, man. Okay. Do you kind of wish that old timey clothing like still existed as a fashion concept? Because there was a lot more options. It feels like for cool shit as opposed to just suits now. Yeah, I mean, uh, tricorn hats, for example. Don't see many of them around anymore. Yeah, giant decorative tabards and whatnot. Yeah. They used to do some cool shit. But there were no zippers or or, or or things like that, or buttons. Everything you had to, like, tie up. That just sounds like a pain you in the ass. You can integrate modern features. Yeah. They didn't even have pockets. We'd be living like modern-day women. <laughs> we paused for cheering. <laughs> On the upside, I could go for a powdered wig. <laughs> See, I was thinking about that, and I, 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 don't, I don't like the look. I'm, I'm I'm happier bald than the I just had the mental image wig. of of Rick walking into the next con or A and D con in Vegas, September twenty first and twenty second, uh, with a big powdered wig, thinking, "Finally, no one will mistake me for Bevan." And then Bevan walking in with the cooler and wearing a powdered wig. Just, just I mean, God I think, damn it! I go back two hundred and fifty years or something, and they say, "Oh, here, man, wear this powdered wig. I, I bought it for you." No, you guys look like a bunch of assholes. I don't want your yeah. stupid wig. Be like, yeah. You look like a poor person. Yeah. Yeah. Back then, that was basically an invitation to die of play crap. I look cool. <laughs> Fuck you. You would have been stabbed by some yeah. fop in a powdered wig by now. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're saying fuck you to the guys in the powdered wig, you've just you've already been hung. <laughs> Silence your insolent tongue, wigless man. And, and I, I double fuck you to the judge with his goofy ass curly powdered wig. <laughs> do you think judges wore a separate wig than everybody else, Bevan? Yeah, do you, you don't know the one I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, I do. Yeah, that's that's like judge. Uh, judge grade wig, isn't it? No, I don't know. I mean, back then, I'm I'm no wig expert, but they all looked a little bit the same. Yeah. I would love if there's like a wig hierarchy, and, and, I, and I'm pretty sure they all smelled the same because they really didn't bathe. <laughs> so it's just, so all you could smell was just their filthy rotting wigs on their head. Yeah, basically, if you travel back in time, probably just you'd be too busy just throwing up constantly <laughs> to, to give them any sass about their headgear. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say that the the upside that Bob and I would have would be we'd be the only people walking around not covered in lice. <laughs> in the land of lice, the man with no hair is king. Until they set him on fire. All right. Shall we commence? Sure. Right. I know who I am. I was the diviner again. I uh, I swapped Drew and Bevan. No, go. no, no. The, the diviner is in swap people. The diviner sees who people are because okay. I was the diviner. 
Well, I yeah. guess Steve's the assassin. <laughs> no, yeah, wait. No kidding. I'm not an Jesus. assassin. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you're, uh, you're making some big mistakes out of the gate, buddy. Okay, so if you were the Harley Quinn, you swapped me and Bevan. That's the one. Harley Quinn. Okay, so uh, Rick, you're saying you were the diviner. Who did you I, divine? I divined two people in the crowd who were most certainly not the assassin. At least, well, at least one of them in the crowd was the counterfeiter. There you go. Well, I started out as a random citizen, so I don't know what I am now. So you were in the crowd. I've been swapped. But there were no assassins in the crowd. But now you've been Well, it only shows me two of the crowd, not three of the crowd. So Uh, two of the crowd were not. Yeah. Yeah, I could be. I I don't know. Trust the assassin. Uh, That's really really up to RNG at this point. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go with Steve, because you... You talk a good game, but we're building all of this on you telling the truth, and you kind of fucked that up really hard at the beginning. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Drew on this one. Steve, full <laughs> shit. You fools. You really <laughs> think uh, that that was a clever double bluff, and not just me being a fucking idiot. How long have we been doing this? <laughs> Maybe you only want us to think you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> It's been a five-year-long ruse. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm voting for Drew just because of the being voted in from the crowd. Malarkey. Oh, knife's coming down. Oh, oh we, we got him. The Duke. Yep. The citizens of Venice have won, and I know it wasn't you guys because I wasn't the assassin. Unless <laughs> no, you were. Was... You were definitely the Harlequin. So, Steve, we caught Drew. Yeah, but Bevan and I were both the assassins. Yeah, from the from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. You fuckers. So when you switched us, it was immediately, all right, so we just got to create reasonable doubt. <laughs> and we didn't. That sucks. <laughs> and Drew, well, Steve, I mean, Steve was fucking burying himself. How did we lose? <laughs> Luckily, we just... Rick was co- confident enough in my incompetence to believe it when he hears it. <laughs> that was a good round. All right, ready to start again. Let's go. All right, now we're actually starting to figure out this stupid game. I know it's it's mm. kind of fun once you uh, once you understand it. Once you stop, yeah. just, like you're fucking your way through it. <laughs> I've been drinking pretty steadily as well, so. And thus the game begins anew. Who who is the killer, and how did we know it was Steve? <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's a lot of prejudice in this game. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, I have selected my secret role, and I will await my secret action. <laughs> God, you know, the the bird hook masks that the guy, that the character is wearing, those are just the creepiest fucking thing to me. Like, the old ones where they look like the plague doctors. I have one of those. I wore it two years ago. <laughs> Well, why have you got the most... They must have had, like, less creepy masks back then. These people were fucking idiots, you know? What What do they know? <laughs> Lice-covered, easily yeah. assassinated idiots. <laughs> hey, uh, doctor, is there a reason you need to look like something that stepped right out of a nightmare at my bedside? No we could, reason? Just funsies? Okay. <laughs> we could go back into that time, show them our iPhones, and instantly be worshipped as gods. Or burned as demons. You realize that's basically the premise of uh, Off to be the Wizard. (laughs) Except with magic. And it goes bad. It's a great book. Highly recommend. I can't even work my iPhone, so... I don't think it'd work out for me very well. But behold... No, give me a minute. Behold... (laughs) No, no. And you guys know how to turn off the screensaver? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we all should have uh, assumed our secret role and taken our secret action. Secret roles, secret actions, secret actions and roles. Yeah. Mmm, this beer tastes good. <laughs> Let the wild accusations begin. All right. Is anybody the alchemist? Is the alchemist the one who gets swapped randomly? Yes. Then I was the alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Except, uh, Steve, you weren't the alchemist because I was the Harlequin. And I switched you and Drew. All okay. right. So then, Bevan, what were you? Uh, I was the counterfeiter. 
What's the counterfeiter do? He switches himself with somebody else, and I switched me with Steve, who actually was the alchemist. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, who am I? <laughs> actually, you're the diviner, because I was the diviner, and I did the two faces in the crowd, and they were both assassins. The assassins um, in the crowd. That's why I started off asking for the counterfeiter, um, because... That means the most likely option is that Drew's, Drew's the assassin again. Yeah. No, Steve's the assassin. <laughs> oh, or there's an assassin. There's definitely an assassin in the crowd for it's sure. Either an assassin in the crowd or Drew's there's, the assassin. Mathematically, there has to be an assassin in the crowd because only one person switched with the crowd. Who switched with the crowd? Uh, the counterfeiter, or not the the alchemist. Whoever was the alchemist switched with the crowd. Alchemist got switched by. The alchemist happens. It happens automatically. Like oh, that's okay. the whole thing. But whoever so, I was was switched with you, and then Bevan's. Oh god, this is all very confusing. Okay, but there's definitely one in the crowd because we've only pulled one random person out. So at most, we've removed one assassin from the crowd. So there's definitely one in the crowd. I'm going to cast my vote for someone in the crowd, bearing in yeah. mind that I may be the assassin. We could we can try and shell game it and figure out if one got pulled into us, or we can just go for the walk. I was I was curious to find out if uh all right. So like I said, I was the counterfeiter. Steve was the alchemist, and the counterfeiter goes first. So I switched me and Steve, but when the alchemist turned came. It didn't, you know, the the thing didn't open up for me again. So I guess, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess you you still only get one turn. Like whatever right, your starting right, rule yeah. is, that's the rule okay. you do. Well, I switched Drew and Drew and Steve. So it's possible if Drew is the assassin, then now Steve is the assassin. I wasn't the assassin. I was the diviner. So you claim? <laughs> I mean, I know a lot of information about the crowd. To be wrong. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually gonna trust Drew on this one. Uh, I'm. I think I'm gonna go vote for both in the crowd. Well, you should probably vote for me. Well, yeah, vote for both in the crowd. <laughs> well, we've already got three votes in the crowd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fools! You no, it, that's com- it was all completely genuine. Uh, I think we. <laughs> I think we did it right. I think we got him. Oh, He's what? dead. No, how? He did not. What the fuck? Who was it? Yeah, this turned out to be me. Assassin? This is bullshit. <laughs> How? Truly. It's me. I told you. I told you it, it was Steve. Uh, but there was an assassin in the crowd. Yeah. yeah, but we got switched out. I didn't know why I was the assassin. There was just so oh. many shell gaming going on there. I assumed if there was one All person right. here, it was most oh, likely we... to be me. Yeah, it the first like... couple of times I was the alchemist and I got switched randomly and I didn't know I was the assassin either. I think we misunderstood the rules. Uh, it's... If there's an assassin among us, we have to catch that one. Um, but if there's two, but if both assassins are among us and we catch one, it counts. So if we catch one in the crowd and one is us, that counts as the assassins winning. I guess we're standing, we're like standing closer to the Duke or something. Yeah, but okay. the Duke thinks we're cool. That sounds credible. We should have got, we should have gone with 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 typical USA logic. Profile the guy with the accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have worked in this case. Oh man, that's oh, that was such a good round for us. Like on a uh, on an analysis standpoint, yeah. just whiffed it on the rules of us actually understanding the game. Yeah, that was a good example of how to play the game. All right, what's this fourth or fourth or fifth time is a charm? <laughs> <laughs> Our logic will be you. Okay. Secret identities now confirmed. I have assumed my secret identity. Oh, God, did you guys ever watch that show? No, I thought okay. you were just singing random shit. No, my secret <laughs> identity with uh, Jerry oh, no. O'Connell as a kid. He was, it was like, it was, oh, it was a superhero show on the Brady Bunch's budget. <laughs> uh, if awful. if that if the Brady Bunch's budget I might be overestimating like he flew he could make himself weightless but he couldn't like go anywhere so he carried around aerosol spray cans um, <laughs> and he would fly by just like, uh, 
Uh, let's see. He had uh, super strength, and I want to say he started off invulnerable, but they switched it over to super speed in season two. Uh, and it was just like there were no other superheroes. It was just him being like 12, 13 years old and having to hide the fact that he had superpowers because his crazy scientist neighbor hit him with a ray gun. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? God, I wish I spent my whole childhood waiting for that to happen. <laughs> Just staring at your neighbor, going, "What the fuck is your problem?" Yeah, yeah I, I, I was more likely to get hit with like, with, with like my neighbor throwing dog shit over the fence. <laughs> yeah. Just like leaving, uh, leaving ray gun manuals on my neighbor's doorsteps. Your superpower is pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I assume we've all taken a secret action. Not according to the main screen. Want to come all into right. my house? Are you going to give me superpowers? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, God. And we're back to the Muppets. Boy, Rick, you uh, you, you got to loop back around to, to this scenario a lot. Do we... I'm going to give you my <laughs> super grover. Do bro cry after this? Because of my childhood, I grew up to be an assassin. <laughs> Thanks what a happened? lot, Muppets. I lived in a trash can. People thought I was a Muppet. They spit on me. <laughs> Said you probably like it, you filthy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and they always kept tickling the redheaded kid. God. <laughs> Poor old CM. Oh, the diabetes took him young. <laughs> okay, so now we've taken a secret action. Yes. Okay. Jacuse. <laughs> Who among you? Is the uh, is the vagrant Muppet assassin? <laughs> Who among you is the trash can dwelling, child molesting Duke Slayer? I thought you were just making up new roles. <laughs> it's like uh, you know the one that does the thing, the vagrant. He turns a whiskey bottle into a knife. Oh man, that would be a great role. <laughs> well, I was but- a Venetian citizen again, so I didn't do shit. Suspicious. Uh, <laughs> um, random Venetian citizen. So, Steve, you're you're taking the lead here. What were you? I was the counterfeiter. Hmm. Then who did you switch yourself with? The counterfeiter doesn't tell you you switch, does it? Oh, oh my God. Steve's I'm full of shit again. again. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, well, not, not switches but... himself with another person. Not looking good for you. Yeah, but it doesn't tell you who you switch with. It's just random, uh, isn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Rick, but, yeah. Rick, what, what, what are you? You're thinking of the alchemist, Steve. Am I thinking of the alchemist? Yeah. So remember your lies better next time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was a little, little confused there myself because, uh, you know, I, I got Venetian citizen as well. So it was pretty much nothing fucking happened. Interesting. So the claim here is that uh, Rick was a Venetian citizen. Bevan was the... Uh, oh, God. What were you again? The Venetian citizen. The Venetian citizen. And Steve is claiming to have been the counterfeiter or the alchemist? Well, I've either done the counterfeiter wrong or I've uh, done the alchemist right. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I if if I switched identities with someone and these guys? If you had a choice, citizens. you were not the counterfeiter. Yes, if no. it just happened, you were the alchemist. Yeah, yeah. and, and you, you're throwing a lot of accu- you throwing out a lot of accusations here, Drew, without telling us what you. Oh, were. oh, I'm I'm getting around to it. I just wanted to give everybody a chance to lay their stories down because I was the Harlequin. So uh, Steve and Rick, if I tell you that you guys are now switched and no longer the same roles you thought you were. Does anybody have a different accusation they want to make? Is there something you'd like to tell us? <laughs> For example, if Steve was trying to cover up the fact that he was the assassin, we now know that Rick is the assassin. <laughs> and vice versa. Yes. Or if Steve was trying to cover up the fact that he can't remember what the fuck he was, <laughs> then I have no idea what the fuck I was. I definitely switched with someone, which means I've got a two and three chance of being a, a random citizen here. In the less truce. Uh, and if Drew is the diviner, then nope. I've... Harlequin. The Harlequin. My story is easy to keep <laughs> straight because it's Christ. true. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are putting a lot of like uh, weight <laughs> on me knowing what the fuck I'm doing here. Look, so I'll be, if I've switched with someone and all you guys are telling the truth, 
then I'm either a citizen or whatever the fuck it was Drew <laughs> was and the Harlequin. Well, you're not me because I don't think anyone switched you with me. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're the guy who switches people, right? Boy, it, it, it everything is saying Steve, but my gut says Bevan. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, because like, you know, because, Drew, Drew, you're, you're doing the same thing you do as a DM. You're trying to get us to fight amongst ourselves here. <laughs> <laughs> trying to. Have you listened to our podcast? Yeah, yeah that's all on Drew. <laughs> yeah, that's hundred <laughs> percent. The puppet master Hayes. <laughs> oh, good God. Well, oh, we, we got a couple, couple seconds to cast our vote here, so. Oh man, I'm I'm gonna go Steve. I'm gonna go Drew. Uh, I'm going Steve. Look at the screen. Da da da, sneaking up on the Duke. Gonna stab him in the face now. Oh, oh, we caught Steve. Yeah, it was definitely me. Of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who was the other one? Oh, Rick was the other assassin. <laughs> oh, man, Rick was from the beginning. I was also. I definitely swapped with someone. <laughs> That's okay. how I became the so assassin. Wait, who, were, who were you at the beginning, Bevan? I was an assassin. I thought so. Rick, what were you at the beginning? He was assassin. an assassin, yeah. <laughs> there you go, I and swapped Steve, with Steve, what were you at the beginning? <laughs> I, was the, I was the counterfeiter. Yeah. Although I did legitimately get that role confused with the other one. <laughs> <laughs> And wound up going to jail for murder. Yeah. Well, that's fair. That's just, I was going to kill that Duke. Oh, my goodness. That was a wild one. <laughs> right. Choose Another round. Role. Okay. Select your rules. my identity. Oh, the ecstasy party has returned. <laughs> Maybe, is, is it possible that this isn't set in olden times? Are we just at a rave? <laughs> it's just fucking really high. Everyone is fucked up. That would explain the confusion. <laughs> it's just, boy, why is it so easy to kill this duke? Oh, everybody's high as shit. Also, it's not a duke. It's just a guy wearing like a Burger King crown. <laughs> it was just the royal themed rave, bro. It's just somebody sitting there stabbing one of those inflatable yeah. dancing men things with a ball. <laughs> hey, who's that dick with the crown? Oh, that's Mike. He's a cock. <laughs> one dude just is in grit is like in a full grimace costume. He he only kind of got it. But it's felt, so there's like fuck it, close enough. You want me to kill the Burger King, right? That's that's what <laughs> <laughs> If if we if this was a game about playing as Grimace infiltrating the Burger King's castle to murder him, I would buy the ever loving shit out of yeah. it. <laughs> and there's got to be a card where it's like you pick it. You've you've been fucked by furries. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, modern Steven Seagal. You're on a mission. <laughs> Gonna have to have a hell of a diplomacy role because Grimace is not a subtle being. (laughs) (laughs) He's really gonna have to rely on his wits because he is a giant purple monster. And uh, the Burger King Kids Club, they don't have a giant purple monster on their roster at all, as far as I'm aware. With enough meth, we're all giant purple monsters. (laughs) (laughs) That would be like the most terrifying image. It's just like that classic shitty Burger King Kids Club picture, except one of the kids has been like clearly killed and ripped apart, and Grimace is just wearing bits of their flesh like a disguise, <laughs> and stand on top like a hat. He said, oh, hello, fellow kids. I was watching a podcast the other day on uh, YouTube, and uh, apparently Grimace originally had four arms. Do you remember this? No. I don't either, yeah. What the fuck? Grimace is uh, way before my time, man. <laughs> Until he pissed Ronald McDonald off and got two of them. T- t- <laughs> oh, so we should probably talk about who the killers are. Oh, yeah. oh, I want to hear from this podcast from another dimension that Evan's been listening to. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, Cthulhu Grimace does sound cool. Chris Pernowski's tongue and pencil. He, uh, he just talks with other animators and they shoot the shit and they got to talking about Grimace. Four um, Burger King child killing <laughs> freak. Well, no, this was McDonald's. All right, Bevan, what were you this round? The Harlequin, sorry. 
Who did you switch? Rick and Steve. Hmm. Mm. Right. I was the uh, counterfeiter, and I switched with some rando in the crowd. That's not what the counterfeiter does. Oh, well, well, what is the one? Oh, oh wait. Are right, you intentionally switched? Not you randomly. Yes. All right, all right. Sorry. No, no, no. Gotcha. Wait a bit. No, I randomly switched because you can't intentionally. Well, switch that's what the. That's the alchemist. Yeah, yeah that was the alchemist. Yeah. Yeah, that was the alchemist again. I was the yeah. moon face. <laughs> yeah, that is the alchemist. Rick, uh, what's your claim? Uh, I, I was kind of busy thinking that there needs to be a death battle between Grimace and the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay for that pay per view. But I, I was just, I was just a bullshit random citizen, so who apparently got swapped with Steve, who then got swapped with somebody else. So I don't know who the fuck I am now. All right, now in my experience, saying you're a bullshit random citizen is just like a, an easy cover for I'm an assassin, but I didn't want to think through this. Much like last time. Yeah, like, like both of us did. <laughs> I'll give Rick this. That does kind of line up. Because I was the diviner and I did the check two randos in the crowd thing, one was a counterfeiter and one was an assassin. Ah, so, so I would have swapped out. No, wait a minute, no, because I was the alchemist. Sorry, I forgot. the alchemist, <laughs> so you could very likely be the assassin. Hmm. But uh, last time I checked, I definitely was a random citizen. Yeah, was... and one of those was an assassin. Oh, I see. All right, okay. Yeah. So being an, uh, somebody from the crowd doesn't necessarily mean I'm innocent. No. Uh, okay. Correct. Because I know that there was an assassin in the crowd at the start. Bob, what were you? I, I, I was the harlequin. Yeah, I was. I was. I was <laughs> too was. busy thinking of my grimace, uh, you know, <laughs> death match there. Does grimace get four arms or two arms against the Kool Aid Man? Two arms, modern incarnation. Let's keep it fair. I was just uh, for a moment there, I thought you were just gonna like very slightly say, "So, Bevan, what are you?" And he's just gonna go, "Oh, assassin." Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is the Kool Aid Man is is made of glass. He's already fighting at a disadvantage on nah, this. He one. breaks through fucking brick walls. Yeah, he's, he, yeah, he's gorilla glass, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, in his in his modern incarnation, though, does he break through walls? All I've he seen does. him do is like hang out at camps and say, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." <laughs> Yeah, you want to want to drink me, kid? Oh yeah. <laughs> At least he aged better than the Chester Cheetah. Why did that? It, it God, Chester Cheetah did become the Hello Fellow Youths character for a long time. Chester Cheetah was a drug dealing piece of shit. Let's be fair. But he, man, he does being a good chip. We've really got to figure out what the fuck we're yeah. doing. Uh, yeah, he, he wait, was who did you switch again, uh, Batman? Rick and Steve. You switched Rick and Steve. Oh, God. Does the Harlequin go before the Alchemist? Alchemist goes first. So I was a random crowd before I got switched, which means now Rick is a random crowd, dude. I started off as a random crowd, dude. Uh, nope. Harlequin goes before the Alchemist. All right. Well, uh, I thought the Alchemist went first because of the uh, random sort of nature. of Rick is the assassin. Uh, yeah, that would, uh, that would, no, no, Alchemist goes last, so whatever you were, you pulled a rando from the crowd, so, uh, yeah, Steve, Steve makes the most sense. Now we wait. wonder if Chester Cheetah worked the opposite corner of Joe Camel. <laughs> oh, man. Those two, those two guys probably hung out, I reckon. <laughs> they kind of look the same. Yeah. Oh, and wait. we fucked, and we fucked this up, because the assassins oh, no, got away. Oh, no, Steve won! <laughs> I'm Did not he? sure I'm the assassin yet. I'm the Harlequin. Oh, I was. Oh. That was Bevan. Bevan yeah. was the assassin. I knew it. I was from the beginning. I had a, I had a neat advantage this time because I had my I had my lie built in for me. I was uh, as the assassin. I could see. I, I got in, uh, one of the. I, none of the rest of you were assassins, <clears throat> so instead I got to choose to pick a random citizen and see what his profession was. And the one I picked was the Harlequin. So I got to use that lie <laughs> and nobody, none of you knew any better. No, that was, that was well done. Clever. You, yeah. You, you rode that lie very well. And we're all too busy with your, the Grimace has forearms bullshit. That's not wrong. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I haven't seen that. I don't remember that, but uh, this You're is what I heard. You're a liar now, Ben. Stop <laughs> lying to me, Ben. Stop lying. All right. Are you guys ready for the final murder mystery? 
Ah, uh, this is the one that counts. It's for all the Christmas cookies of murder. <laughs> I know Steve did it. <laughs> Come on, Rick. We all know Steve did it. But how did he do it? That's the real question. All right. We have selected our thingies and doodads and trinkets. The orgy has begun. <laughs> DJ Falcon Mask is spinning on the table. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody sees the cops, remember, there's a 20-story drop off the balcony, so use the stairs. <laughs> the things they should say at the tops of raves at majestic castles. There's definitely some, like, young duke or something that's thrown an orgy at a castle. Dude, if you're rich, that's what yeah. you do. <laughs> 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 So yeah, you're of the opinion yeah. that's their Tuesday. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not saying every day. I'm just saying, you know, you got to do that once. I mean, what's the <laughs> point of having money otherwise? What'd you do if you had a million dollars? Two chicks at the same time. <laughs> There's a reason this Duke is so open to being stabbed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Back in medieval times, of course you're doing it because, you know, who's going to complain? You are the law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like you get to be the guy from Office Space and the boss. <laughs> okay, we're all taking our secret actions. Secret actions. I think they can figure that out when we're not bickering and accusing each other. Although, to be fair, last time we did fall into a very good discussion of multi-arm grimace, which I am going to Google after this is over. <laughs> no, I refuse. I refuse to fall to these lies. That was not part of my ruse. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I start Googling it, Bevan will appear behind me and stab me. <laughs> All right, I was the diviner, and I learned that Bevan is, in fact, a four-armed grimace. I mean, a Venetian <laughs> citizen. All right, yeah, I'm glad you said that, because I was really going to feel like a heel <laughs> coming out of the gate saying, oh, I'm a Venetian citizen. Nobody would have believed me. But, uh, yes, I was a Venetian citizen. All right, so that corroborates that. What about you, Rick? So called Rick. Well, I was the alchemist. So whatever, I guess I got switched with somebody, some rando from the crowd. Okay, horseshit. I was the alchemist. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's why I went last. Rick is it. Rick is it. Rick is it. Rick is Rick it. Is it. Rick is oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Why, why are we assuming that Rick is it and Drew's not the one making this shit up? <laughs> Tell you what, Bevan, I'll vote for Rick. You vote for Drew. We'll, we'll oh, take no. these. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Split it. As long as we get Rick, it'll count. Do All right. That. Wait, which one? I'm voting for Drew? Oh, yeah. God. What? Or Rick. It doesn't matter. Rick, Steve, Rick who did you vote for? Yeah, you vote for Drew. Yeah. I already voted for Rick, yeah. Okay. We got two. We got him. Somebody's voted for somebody in the crowd. I'm guessing that was Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the assassin. It was some random. Uh, we got Blammo. we stopped the assassin. Uh, your, your fuckers got me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe one more. That was kind of a quick one. We were on the ball. Oh yeah, I, I turned into the Harlequin at the end. How do you like that? <laughs> I remained the Divina. <laughs> Dave, Dave yeah, Divina. I remained a Venetian citizen. We could go out on a high note, but that's not how we roll. Yeah, let, that was that was way too confident. We gotta fuck this up a little bit. <laughs> the people know what they came here for. Wild right. and unfounded accusations. Okay, the, the party begins. The woman is being felt up. So I did actually Google it, and uh, Bevan was telling the truth. Multi-armed grimace is a thing. And it is truly horrifying. Uh, the only one I can find of him is him, like, doing a Hamburglar, where he's, like, stealing a bunch of shit. <laughs> it also kind of looks like oh. he has tentacles for feet. I thought you meant Just... doing the Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> he's got two arms to hold him down, and at least one for him to fist him. It's what happens if you Google this without safe search on. Oh, oh yeah, there's more picture. God, these all look like terrifying fan art, though. Like, none of them look legitimate. It's like, oh no, oh no, Hamburglar, you're not going to jail. You're going to the Grimace. <laughs> Please, Ronald, have mercy. There is no mercy in the Burger King. 
<laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> that's a different kingdom. God. Oh, God, is that a costume or a real-life person? Jesus, this is like, I'm going down a real deep hole, guys. Fry guys. Oh, God, that one looks like it's about to tear open a front asshole. It's horrible. <laughs> All right, that's the end of my grimace searching. Is everybody Just taking the beginning this? of mine. <laughs> seeker action. If, and if your seeker action was Googling grimace porn, then, <laughs> no, you haven't taken your seeker action. <laughs> All of my secret actions are porn googling <laughs> of grimace. No, to be honest, you know, mostly Hamburglar, robble, robble. Yeah, you gotta gotta chase those bad boys. Yeah, you, you guys, you guys are like you completely ignoring like you know the probably the, the guy behind the scenes who's the one abusing all the power, Mayor McCheese. <laughs> God. Corrupt. I said, bring me sweet and sour. <laughs> oh man, I found a picture of grimace and a pimp hat. <laughs> the weird thing is I immediately had a mental image pop up and I'm 90% sure yeah, I, yeah. it's that one but now I'm like why do I have a grimace and a pimp hat auto click in my brain <laughs> the fuck did that come from grimace is all my bitch better have my french fries <laughs> not half not some but all <laughs> <laughs> what did Grimace even represent of the food stuff? Mayor uh -huh. McCheese was a burglar. Hamburger's burglar. purpose was to steal. Oh uh, yeah, burger. Sorry, Hamburglar <laughs> was supposed to steal burgers. And he was also a. No, he wasn't. No. He was a human. Yeah, he ate yeah, burgers, yeah. which is very normal. Grimace was what you dropped in the toilet afterwards. <laughs> There was a, a disturbingly chicken-like bird girl, which, Birdie. given that chicken nuggets are part of their menu, is not a <laughs> great fit. I always just assumed she shat chicken nuggets. Well, the fry guys were actually fries. Yeah, and they fry ate guys are fries. fries. Yeah. Nuggets were an actual character at one point. Well, that's, they, the bird girl probably birthed them. She probably birthed huge broods. Was there ever a filet fish character that they just say, fuck that, nobody cares? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think the the kitty stuff had been mostly phased out by the time they gave enough of a shit to promote filet fish mm. No McRib monster either. But yeah, um, yeah. what was Grimace? I was going to say, Bob, Bob, Bob did, did filet fish justice already in, uh, in uh, it came from my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we've uh, wasted a quarter of our time now talking about... <laughs> <laughs> and we, we didn't want to talk about last time. We wanted to make sure we got a little into this one. <laughs> All right, so Drew, what, are, what were you? Uh, I was the counterfeiter. I swapped with a person in the crowd. Okay, Bevan, who did you swap with? Who did I swap with? Well, what kind of question you? is that? Yeah. yeah. I didn't swap with shit. I was, uh, I was the diviner, and I chose two people in the crowd... One of them was a random citizen, and the other was the Harlequin. Well, wait, Drew, I thought you were the Harlequin. No, well, I was the counterfeiter. Uh, That's why I changed myself. Uh, Steve see. still doesn't get this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's like, wait, I caught someone. No, no. <laughs> I, I was call the, you out. I was the cunning. cobbler. <laughs> All right, so what were you? In their repairing shoes. <laughs> I know what you're up to. <laughs> Let's hear your lies, Steve. My lies? <laughs> Unacceptable. Rick, let's hear your lies. <laughs> wow, lies. you Jesus didn't even have one. Right. <laughs> nice. That's not a great sign. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rick, I, I, what I, were I, you? <laughs> I said, Rick, what were you? Got, got the alchemist for real this time. So I guess I swapped with one of those randos in the crowd. All right, Steve, let's let's back to you and hear your lie. Have you come up with anything yet? <laughs> no, I was the assassin until somebody swapped with me. Wait, how oh, would uh, you know somebody swapped with you? It's a because bold it's strategy a there. Run. Yeah, say what? Isn't that how it works? Doesn't somebody like, <laughs> you know, uh, when it says... I've never been more confident about a vote. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Your Honor. I, 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 I don't know where this blood on my uh, covering me came from. Uh, I'll be I'm a little I'm suspicious gonna... that Rick is playing the Alchemist card again. 
I gotta be sorry. I gotta kill the Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Steve just wants to end this one his way, I guess. Well, he's got my vote. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna trust my gut. <laughs> oh, assassinating crowd. What? Oh. Oh, two, two people, people voted for wow. assassinating crowd. Oh, here it goes. I don't even know how this voting it works gonna, now. Is he going to be killed? Oh, it works like a dead duke is what it works like. <laughs> how did, how did yeah. the assassins win? Killed the motherfucking duke. Uh, I think you mean I killed the motherfucking duke. I thought Rick was oh. the assassin. He was until I, the counterfeiter, switched places with him. Not, I, not a random person in the crowd. I assumed that if one of us got through, you know, that everyone would vote for me. And Rick would be like the secret assassin, but... Oh, man, um, Steve, no, we, Drew, there Drew. was method behind that madness. <laughs> but Drew, uh, <laughs> but Drew uh, surprised us all by swapping with Rick. Because uh, as an assassin, it told me who the other assassin was. Yeah. Or it told uh, me who the other person was, but it was Steve, Rick. The way this game uh, counts stuff... If you had been busted as a player and an assassin, the assassins would have lost. All right. We only have to catch one of the player assassins. Oh, I thought you had to catch so, 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 so in so in essence, by voting for the crowd when I did, thinking I was the assassin, I essentially <laughs> fucked us and caused us to lose. Yep, that's exactly why I didn't tell you. I switched with you. I I was like, oh, he still thinks he's an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> that was clever. Well, I- I vote for the crowd because I knew I was an assassin. <laughs> I voted for Rick because I knew he wasn't. Ah. So who didn't vote for me? Uh, Even though I, I said I was the assassin. <laughs> everyone but Bevan. <laughs> well, you got to remember, everyone but Bevan thought they were an assassin. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bevan was the only one actually trying to catch an assassin. <laughs> so by losing, we won. Well, we, no, That's... we won that one. The assassins won. <laughs> there was a lot of like failed double bluffs going on. <laughs> yeah, I've oh, lost track man. of them. That, this this was a lot of fun, uh, listeners. If you enjoyed this one, let us know. You know, we we like to take your feedback. We generally pick games that you enjoy listening to. So if this is one of them, uh, hit us up at facebook.com slash authors and dragons, or come on down to the Discord at patreon.com slash authors and dragons and Come join us in our Discord chat. Yeah, and then find out who is the real assassin. Like for Taco real. Bell. Is. It was yeah. Grimace all along. <laughs> God, it was for our Grimace all along. All right. Well, we'll see you next week with a regular episode of Authors and Dragons. Until then, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Wait a minute. So who is the assassin? <laughs> <laughs> the cobbler. The cobbler.